What's up, YouTube? Pipe Smoker Stew coming at you with none other than Court 3079. I mean, nothing better than hanging out with your brother. Uh, just hanging out. This video is really nothing special. It's going to be fairly short. Well, I mean, it's special, but he took me to the um, his tobacconists and uh, bought me a couple of tins. Um, Birthday, yeah, birthday presents. presents. And, uh, I bought me a, a tin and a couple of cigars, and but uh, I'm not gonna smoke them yet. I'm gonna wait till I get back to. We're going to my house. We're going tobacconist hopping. <laughs> yeah, nothing like it. Uh, I found out today that if I have any money in my pocket, that I'm not allowed in them places for more than five minutes. Because I bought, well, I spent way too much from what I should should have. But anyway, um, I just saw so much stuff I wanted. Yeah, I it's mean. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm not that big of a cigar smoker, so if, if I go into, like, um, like the humidor in there, if it looks cool, I'll probably, probably buy it. But I have to ask. I'll have to ask, hey, what, like... You know what? It, out of this, would would you smoke it again? If if they had already smoked it, and if they say no or whatever, then okay. What well, would you smoke? And then if it's too much for me to buy, I'll say like, um, give me something similar, a little cheaper. But uh, you just bought a cigar and uh, lit that dude up. T52. And see, I know nothing about that, but uh, I'm learning more about pipe, uh, pipe tobacco before I uh, switch over to the cigars. I know that uh, I bought an Undercrown today, and uh, can't wait to smoke that again. I've only had one before, but uh, oh man, it was good. And, uh, couldn't stop me from buying this one. We have awesome cigar cigar shops here in Wichita there's one there's one that has a decent selection of pipes and uh, they got quite a, you know they have quite a bit of tins and stuff yeah, it, was, it, was, it was nice so what did, what did I get over there let me get in this they got a lot of pipes and the people the people that work yeah, here are incredibly knowledgeable it's funny because cigars are real big it's like a real big thing and and I'll go in there and I'll look at pipe tobacco and you know most of the guys that work there say that they know a lot a lot about cigars but you know and they like smoking pipes but they just don't know as much about the pipe tobacco as they do cigars so it's kind of cool to be able to share some of the, the things I know with them and then they can you know, share with me about cigars, and I bring these guys, whenever I open up some of the stuff out of my cellar, I bring them samples and get cigars. It's a good way to try new stuff. I was going to show you uh, my birthday presents. Um, uh, Premium Aromatics is a uh, best of show. Uh, McClellan Aromatics. McClendon, McClendon Aromatics. I don't know uh, the sun get in the way there. But anyway, that's one of the, there you go, that's, that was one of the birthday presents there. And then he also bought me uh, Peterson's of Dublin, uh, Sunset Breeze. I've heard so much about it and never tried it. But then uh, we, we came here to uh, the humidor in, uh, here in Wichita and I bought some Ashton Rainy Day. I don't know if anybody's ever tried that. But... Uh, he said it sounds interesting, a good, good aromatic. Uh, basically, what catches my attention on here is uh, it says tropical, tropical fruit and hickory nuts, and uh, that does sound yeah, awesome. Yeah, it just sounded great. So uh, I might have to, when you crack that open, I might have to roll up the hutch and smoke a bowl of that with you. Yeah, I can't wait. Like, I may, I mean. 
I'm not going to crack them all open at once and just have all this stuff, but I, I, I will eventually have them open and tinned up. And then in here, um, I won't show them to you in detail, but uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't cigars know you got in here. Under count. Uh, I must not have been paying attention. Right, right there. Well, you can't see it. Right here is my undercrown. Right here is uh, Java. Java Mint. No, the. Jara Java Maduro. Maduro. And then uh, about a uh, quart is Java Mint. And then I have the uh, Filthy Hooligan by. The Alec Bradley yeah, Black Alec Market. Bradley. Filthy Hooligan. And that's the. I guess they made 2,000 boxes of those. That's it. And that's. That's what's in here. It's a little human, human pack. And of course, never can't go without this. Man, it's, it's nice out here, you know? It is. It is ridiculously nice. Great day. But, uh... Kind of like, uh, you know when, uh... You watch the Dagners and they're just sitting there chilling, talking. I'm like... You know, I heard Jason say he's like, uh... As in, he, he's hardly on YouTube, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of how I've been. I've been just, I've been out doing my thing, man. It's starting to get nice, and it's not that I don't have time. It's just I really ain't feeling it. I'm just too busy doing what stuff I want to do, other stuff. Yeah. That's going right. I don't even feel like doing. But uh, I, can't, I can't smoke in my house, so I have to go out in the garage. It's a real pain in the butt because it gets cold at night. And, uh... I have this little space heater. I have to prop my camera up. But uh, on the last video, when you saw that, I recently uh, purchased this dash mount. But we got it mounted on the window now. and it, I got to get one of these. Yeah, it's a crazy video. I mean, it, it looks good. This thing does take good video. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to lean a little bit to get in. But uh, like I say, it's far enough away that uh, it can get us both. It's a great purchase for whenever, whenever I'm on, I'm on the road and feel like just smoking a pipe. Well, whenever I get to where I'm going, I'll shoot a video, or else I'll go out to yeah, cause Cow Creek and there in Hutchinson Park and smoke some much water. I'll be driving along, and like that's when I do all my thinking, man. Yeah. When I'm just cruising down the road, and that's when I have stuff to say. And I'll be like, dang, I don't have no, I should make a video, but I don't have a way to do it. Um, like I said before, uh, eventually we're going to set up our own channel together. I don't know what it's going to be called. We'll figure something out. But, uh, you'll, I mean, we, we won't post as many as like, as like we do by ourselves. But, uh, there will be a channel. And, uh, we'll give you the name whenever we think of it and get it all set up. It's uh, gonna be like epic, epic get-togethers. Yeah, yeah. Epic collab, epic collaborations, yeah. or some, something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little plug here real quick. Uh, for those of you who know, um, I send off Shadrach Potate uh, had made me that deer antler uh, pipe, and uh, he needed a stem back. Well, of course, you can't fit another stem to the pipe without it looking funky or not fitting right or whatever. So, uh, we got the stem sent back, and then I sent, well, actually, when we were in Weatherford, I gave the the actual pipe to Joe Case. And uh, those of you who've got Instagram can go on and see it. Uh, and I asked him, I asked him, man, it, well, first of all, it looks awesome. I said, man, you did a great job. Uh, how, how much I owe you? And he said, uh, this one's on me. So, basically, I have a, a Shadrach and a Joe Case pipe, so we're going to call it the Shadrach Case. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke out of it for a little while. And then um, those of you who want to, I don't know how we're going to do it, but can donate a minimum $2 or whatever just to smoke out of this thing for 
a week, two weeks, whatever. And then uh, we're going to pass it on. That person will donate $2 or more if you want to. But I don't know how it's going to work. If if they're going to send it to send it to me and I'll send it all off as soon as I get the pipe back. I'll send the money and the pipe to, to Shadrach. And he can use that money for if he needs doctor's bills or his autism fund or whatever whatever he he needs in order to get some answers but uh, don't forget that uh, the month of, the month of April is um, autism awareness month so go find you a blue pin I mean a blue puzzle piece pin and uh, support the old uh, Shadrach for us uh, I haven't found mine yet but uh, I'll order one and then uh, yeah, but um, thanks, Joe. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Joe's a real stand-up guy. Yeah. He's uh, he's always been really cool, and uh, then to meet him in person in, in Texas was was really great. Yeah, he's an honor. And uh, those honor. of you who own his pipes know the kind of craftsmanship that goes into those. So, Joe, that's uh, that's greatly appreciated. Yeah, very, thank you. Very. Uh, I've been in contact with him over email and uh, I don't know when, when he's going to send it out but he has my new address and uh, so whenever he gets here I'll, uh, I'll light it up I'm not going to burn it too hot because uh, I'm pretty sure he redid the inside too it just, uh, well it looks great go on get on Instagram if you don't have Instagram definitely download it no cutting her uh, pipe smoker stew, and uh, you'll see it on there. That's a beautiful pipe. What uh, else? Well, I don't, now we're coming up. We're coming up on a pretty long video here. Just uh, chilling. Yeah, we're just gonna chill here for a little bit, just right outside the humidor, and, uh, and then whatever else comes along. So, have a good weekend. Yeah, definitely. Um, Pipe Smoker 2 here. and um, Court 3079. Wishing you all very, very smooth smokes. And um, peace out. Until then. Peace, YouTube.